Hello everyone and welcome to my home office, also known as the headquarters of Nouveau Pearl. So this is where all the jewelry magic happens. I do also use it for all of my other work including editing my videos and just hanging out because it's probably my favorite room in the apartment just because it's so incredibly filled with light and it's just really made my vision for my brand become a reality and a place where I can work to make that happen. So I really have enjoyed spending time in here since it's been finished. The last step has finally been complete, which was refinishing a beautiful mid-century modern dresser. So I'm going to show you what that looks like and tell you a little bit about that process, as well as give you some ideas of different things that you can do in a home office to make it feel still homey while being productive at the same time. So come on in. I thought I would give you this wide shot view because this is basically what you see when you walk in from the living room. It's actually one big open space, which I love because it means that when I'm working, I can still feel like I'm a part of whatever else is going on in the apartment. The connector between the living room and the office is really this double fireplace, as we call it. It's an electric fireplace with this top that you could do a lot with um, to decorate, but one of my important goals was not to overwhelm it with a lot of different items because it could really block off one room from the other which I didn't want so things in threes usually look really good for home decor and I like the way the back plant is a little bit taller than the other items you have a bit of a staircase going on this is just a really low maintenance plant in a pretty um, planter I like the way it has some metallic accents this planter is from West Elm and I filled it with some aloe vera which is kind of useful if you ever get a sunburn as well as some succulents and then this little item in the front I just absolutely fell in love with. It's from Jonathan Adler and it's actually a match strike so you can actually use the base of it to strike a match. And it actually serves as a nice reminder for me that I have bought quite a few expensive candles and I should go ahead and enjoy them and having the matches out encourages me to do that. So I love how it is ultimately a little knickknack but it also has a little functional element to it as well. Next up is my workbench. So I do all all of my jewelry creation here. The table is actually an old dining table that I had for years. It became so beaten up that I actually started using it as a workbench and because it's extendable like this it's actually a great size for that and I really love it. These lamps are fantastic. They are such a great price. Um, usually work lamps are really really expensive but you can see it's a really nice wide bright white light which is really important for when I'm working in the evening so they can see colors as they truly are um, and differentiate the different hues of pearls that I use. These little Kirin are actually jade. I bought them when I was living in Hong Kong for a couple of months and I negotiated pretty hard to get them so it really is something that I treasure having on my workbench because it's filled with good memories of travel, work experience, and successful negotiation. And then I've just got a little box from West Elm. You can see already, if you haven't noticed yet, that I have a color theme going on with the office. I've got a lot of turquoise and aqua, as well as pale pink, more of a blush, really. And so there's some turquoise going on with this box. So this is apricot from Nest, which is wonderful. I really love their simple glass votives. I think they're really classy looking. Um, and then you can see I've got a double lamp set up to produce more light for working. And I think even though it's um, put together with functionality in mind, it really turned out to look quite nice and sleek and modern, which is what I wanted. And then one of my big splurges for the office was purchasing a good work chair. It's actually got some little silver beads on it, um, but it's a Herman Miller, and I really love this chair. I'll link the exact style number that I have. It's custom, so I chose the fabric out of many many options as well as the chrome um, details on the base if you can see that and the carbon arms it's very comfortable have a curved lower back like I do I highly recommend this chair it's called the Seitu for me it was worth the investment of getting something that would support my back while I'm sitting here for pretty long hours after already having a pretty sedentary day at the office so I've really appreciated having this chair it's made a huge difference to my life um, and I also love the aesthetic look of it because I wanted something that would be supportive and be practical but also look really nice because ultimately I don't want this to feel like 
a real office, a corporate office. I want it to feel like a creative and aesthetically pleasing space that fits with my brand. So that's exactly what I ended up getting with this chair. And also, just to be a little bit silly, it has great smooth twirling movement as you can see. So this dresser was a labor of love for Joe and I. It originally came in a blonde wood and it was very stained and a lot of the finish had actually come off. We bought it off of Craigslist from an interior designer whose daughter had moved away from home and it was in her bedroom. So it was fun because I felt like the person I got it from was actually able to tell me quite a bit about it. So it is mid-century from the 50s and it has a really unique design. I love how it's a little bit cubic with a design on the front that felt really unique and appealing to me. I think it adds a little bit of geometry to the space and a little bit of structure as well. But it's also really functional. So you can see the inside has really great spacious drawers. So you can see in this one I've got spare cards, envelopes, and pouches for new belt girls. It houses all of my supplies and camera equipment as well. So I love that. And I just think it turned out so beautifully. It was a lot of hard work for Joe, so I wouldn't recommend going into a project like this with no time on your hands because it took us quite a few full weekends to get this done. But it turned out such a beautiful, warm, glossy finish, and I think it really makes the space um, and adds a lot of much needed storage. So I really love how this is a real vintage piece. It's solid wood, not plywood, which is really hard to find new. It was about $300 when we bought it. Um, off of that gentleman on Craigslist and probably about another hundred dollars to refinish. And then on top of it, I styled it a little bit, but I really tried to know when to stop for this because you could definitely pile a whole bunch of coffee table bucks on top of this and it would look really nice. Um, but I really wanted to appreciate the finish of it and again, not block the view or interfere the, with the lines of that. So I just did a really simple bowl from HomeSense, which is gold. I really like having a little bit of mixed metal accents in a space. And then I've got a pineapple jar, which is actually a cookie jar. And I love how this one is white. I've seen a lot of them in gold. I'll try and find a white one for you guys um, to link because I think it's a little bit more modern. Some little Honolulu cookie company cookies, which are also pineapple shaped and they make a really nice accessible snack for when I'm working on orders. Going from top to bottom of the shelving unit, which is from Ikea, we really kept this functional, but I wanted it to be an alternating combination of both of our things. Um, Joe doesn't use this office that much. He doesn't really work from home too much, but I wanted him to have some things out and especially some favorite books um, because I think books are just such an awesome, lovely way to decorate. I haven't really gotten into the whole color coding of books thing. I may start to do that. Um, but up there, there's an old um, peacock glass uh, print, which is gorgeous, and I love the colors of that and how it goes with the room. I've just got a box of receipts, then I have my e-sign that I've had for a long time in the background of my videos. And then there are Joe's books here at the top, and then a combination of our things. As well, the office is the access for the patio from um, the main part of the apartment. The other side of the patio is actually our bedroom. So if you watched our bedroom tour on my channel, that's uh, the bedroom over there if you go around the patio. The apartment is kind of like a circle that way. So together with my office, those are really my two favorite rooms, which is why I've done separate tours for them. Now my favorite part of the whole room is definitely this conversation area, and it is the background for all of my videos. So I did work really hard to get this perfect so that I feel like it wouldn't be something that I would get tired of or that hopefully you would get tired of either. One easy way to keep things current is just to use decorative pillows because those are so easy to switch out but I did finally invest in ones that I felt like I would just love for a long time so I might add one or two here for the holidays but that's probably about it for a while. This one is from HomeSense. It's a combination of cream and gold and then of course you've got mixed metals going on with this one which is a silver and pink. Pink. The couch itself is a teal velvet. It is from HomeSense. It actually wasn't very expensive. I've gotten so much wear out of this because it used to actually be the seat I would sit on when making orders when I first started my business about a year ago. Um, so it feels right to have it in my background um, and I still love it so much. I think it looks really lush. It's actually very comfortable as well. So if I ever have Joe sitting with me while I make orders or a friend, it's a nice place for them to sit. 
And then over on this side, I have a cream tasseled cushion and a velvet and linen cushion. I love how the combination of linen and velvet is actually quite anti-seasonal, so it'll work for any season. Um, this pillow was a bit more of an investment. It's from a local boutique called The Cross, so is this one. The blanket over here, which is from West Elm. And now to answer the question that I know many of you have asked and I wanted to fully address it in a video, this piece of art is really, really dear to me. It actually is a Cartier vintage scarf that belonged to my grandmother. And it was handed down to me, but I never wore it very much because I find um, those square scarves really hard to wear and I just really never wore it and it was very wrinkled. So what I did is I had it dry clean so that it would be very smooth. I rolled it up onto a piece of uh, gift wrap roll and walked it over to Michael's where they took forever to frame it. Um, this was another reason for the delay for the office. I think it just formed such a nice, interesting, classic background for my videos that really embodies my style. There's a nice serendipity to it too because it obviously has pearls and jewels on it. And of course that was purchased long before I was probably even born, much less had a business in jewelry. So it feels really special. I like how um, the gold came out and kind of remembers that from the scarf. I think the framing that I did with the matting was definitely on the pricey side, but it really makes the scarf pop. And overall, a large piece of art like this was always going to be pretty expensive. So I love how I managed to do something that was very personal to me. If you have a scarf in your collection that you really love, it's a nice way to enjoy it. So I hope that you all enjoyed this office tour today. It's just such a pleasure to be able to finally share it with you. If you have any questions about anything that I showed, then make sure you ask them down below. If you'd like to see a full home tour, including all of the other rooms that I haven't shown yet, so that would be the living room, second bedroom, kitchen area, and just like a walk around as a whole so you can see what the space has turned out to be like then give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe for my next installment on style thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye